The 2025s are starting to come in, guys. That's why I knew I had to grab this one and do a test drive before it's gone. It's the 2025 Kia Sportage SX Prestige all-wheel drive. Everybody that I know that drives a Sportage absolutely loves it. So let's see what this vehicle has to offer. Let's go. If you're interested in a Sportage, come check us out. We're online at smailkia.com. Exterior color of this is gravity gray, and I absolutely love it. It's a darker gray, but when the sunlight hits it, it pops just a little Little bit it's got a little bit of metal flakes in there that really stick out Kia logo in the front of the vehicle sticking out as well as those very distinct LED running lights the front of the Sportage coming around the side you'll notice the 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels with those chrome accents that Kia logo there in the center and the bottom half of this vehicle actually has a glossy black finish to it with some chrome accents as well this SX prestige Sportage has a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine and an speed automatic transmission it comes with kia's outstanding 10-year 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty a five-year 60,000 mile limited basic warranty and a five-year 60,000 mile roadside assistance coming around the back side you'll notice the power tailgate has the sportage logo left hand side key in the center one press of the button you have an automatic tailgate all the way up you have a ton of storage in here and how about this underneath you have some additional storage but also spare tire in today's day and age how crazy is that you have a 12 volt charger over here and if i want to put these seats down get a little bit more space all i have to do is press or pull this lever here on the side and it's going to bring down those seats i'm going to do it on the other side as well just so you can kind of get a grasp so those fold all the way flat all right guys let's see what we got in the back seats jumping into the back seats you'll notice this black perforated leather with stitching you have some nice chrome accents here on the door i'm just gonna go ahead and close that up and let's take a look at what's back here right so we have this nice armrest with two cup holders you have some ventilation back here and some storage little clips on the back of these seats additional storage here usb-c fast charging ports on the back of both of these seats which is cool but my favorite feature is going to be this panoramic sunroof gives you a lot more visibility back here a lot more light and i can really just enjoy the ride let's jump up front and then we'll get this thing on the road getting in the front seats of the kia sportage for the first time here we have kia logo on the steering wheel we have a giant uh looks like one panel screen in front of us let's go ahead and start the vehicle up and man we we do have a really nice dual digital display up here we have our speedometer and our uh, tachometer up there all that really great information's up front for us to see we can even see the temperature outside the speed limit sign and it looks like we have a bunch of different features that we can go over here let's go ahead and start things off by the steering wheel on the right side this button actually allows me to change between what we're looking at up here so i can you know have my attention assist safety features up there uh, compass and even seeing what wheels get power so that's pretty cool also on the right side looks like we have some of our safety features like our adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist we'll go over that on the test drive on the left side of the steering wheel we have a push to talk button for our apple carplay android auto so we'll be able to make phone calls send text messages leave yourself reminders ask questions different things like that even use your navigation all right there from the push button on your steering wheel we have a mode button here that'll allow you to choose what you're doing here on your infotainment screen you can make that mode button uh, your bluetooth audio phone projection what, whatever you'd want to put there we have a nice big 12.3 inch display up here where you can have your maps uh, looks like this particular one actually does come with maps as well you can also change your radio settings go into valet mode as quiet mode and uh, you know you can change your climate control settings in here if you want as well and you have your Kia Connect. So uh, all that stuff really easily accessible there. You also have your instrument cluster down here that you can do uh, some of the same similar stuff. So right now we have it on our AC settings because the fan is highlighted here. So I can increase my fan speed, lower the temperature and all that stuff there. If I wanna go to my 
uh, I can even, here's where you do the temperature right here. Now, let's say I want to change to my audio or media settings. This top button there, I'm going to hit that. Now I can go to my map, my navigation, my audio settings are all right there. This now becomes a volume and power button for my radio. <coughs> you okay? And that was somebody coughing on the radio, believe it or not. Um, so we have uh, a lot of different stuff up there. Below that, we have a 12 volt charger, a USB and a USB-C fast charging port. We also have a wireless charger down here. You can just set your phone right there to charge it. Your engine start stop buttons right here. Your automatic shifter, pretty self-explanatory there. On the right side of that, you have heated and cooled seats. You can decide what you wanna do for that. Uh, three settings for each, it looks like. You also have a heated steering wheel and your passenger has heated and cooled seats as well. How cool is that? Over here, we have our two cup holders, but we have little buttons here to kind of bring that out and uh, have the, the arms catch there. Otherwise, you can just kind of put whatever you want there. On the left side, we have our drive modes, right? So we have normal, sport, smart, and snow modes. We also have downhill brake control. We have our button for our parking camera here. And we have auto hold. So you may be asking yourself, what is auto hold? Well, pretty simply, whenever I hit the button, auto hold comes up here on my dashboard. When I'm in drive and I come to a complete stop, auto hold will turn green here on the dashboard. I take my foot off of the brake and this car is staying where it is. If I hit the accelerator, it takes us out of auto hold and we're gonna coast forward. I'm gonna hit the brake again. And whenever that turns green, I can take my foot off of the brake and we're not going anywhere. So this is great for stop and go traffic. I don't have a lot of um, worries whenever that occurs. It's just sort of, I just hit my accelerator until I hit the brake and then I'm good to wait until I need to hit the gas again. You also have this large panoramic sunroof up here. One press of the button, I can open this all the way up and that has a windscreen up there. It's gonna cut back on the harsh wind and noise, bugs and things like that that could come flying into the cabin. One press of the button, and that's gonna close that up and all the way. So one button all the way forward, one button all the way back. You can stop it halfway and uh, we're good to go. All right, guys, that was a lot of features in this vehicle, but let's get this thing out on the road and show you even more. Let's hit the accelerator, let's get out onto the highway. All right, and something I noticed already, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have cameras on the side of our vehicle. So if I turn on my left turn signal down here, check this out. A camera actually pops up on the left-hand side, lets me know if somebody's in my blind spot or if somebody's maybe coming up on me pretty fast. That's a really cool feature. I absolutely love that. And uh, I wish more cars had it. I did go ahead and activate my lane keep assist. And all I'm gonna do is inch over here to the right side of the lane and the lane keep assist is just registering the sides of the road the two the dotted line and this line and it's keeping me within the lines of the road it's just a slight nudge it's not forcing me over it's something that i could take control of and i can force myself over if i wanted to but it's just a nice little safety thing if you're going on a long drive that this is going to look out for you and keep you within the lines of the road Right here, I went ahead and set my adaptive cruise control on my steering wheel. When I did that, I set my speed to 57 miles per hour, so we're well within the speed limit here. And it has registered the vehicle in front of me, and we've started to go slower based on their speed. I can bridge the gap between me and the car in front of me, or I can make that gap a little bit longer. As long as it registers a vehicle in front of me, it's going to slow me down based on their speed until we hit the speed that I have set. My hand's been off the steering wheel here for about a minute or so, so it's um, I'm just letting the car kind of do its own thing. It's not really what you want to be doing while you're driving, but if you need to, it's here. You also have a sport mode, so let's go ahead and switch things over into sport mode. Let's just see if that changes any driving dynamics. I do hear the engine more my foot's off of the accelerator, I'm just letting it go. I can hear the exhaust there. Let's go 
to normal. It just drops out there. So it's kind of cool to have a, a sport mode. You can feel a little bit sportier when you're driving this vehicle. It is a, a sport edge, if you will. I do have somebody approaching me at, on my blind spot on my left hand side. When they get into my blind spot, you're going to see my mirror light up. When I turn on my turn signal, I'm being alerted so many different ways that there is somebody over there. Not only did I get a visual flashing there, I got an audible alert. And on top of that, my steering wheel vibrated. Now that we're in a parking lot here, I'm gonna put the vehicle into reverse. You see this nice gigantic backup camera. You see straight back, you have projected lines. You got a 360 view as well, which is awesome. I can see my projected angle back into a spot. And the other great thing is that this vehicle has parking sensors. So if I get close to something, it's telling me here to look out. I, I'm hearing it audibly and you see the little green line there just alerting me that I'm getting close to something. It's flashing more. It's getting orange the closer I get to this pullback here. Let's look at some other things that we have. We also have some additional views. I can go top down. I can see that pull there. I can do my side angle, so those are my back tires. I can do it <laughs> above the shoulder third person view too. How cool is that? When I have the vehicle in reverse and I'm backing up and it senses a car moving behind me, you can actually see it's not only telling me what direction a car is coming from, left or right, it's flashing at me, it's beeping at me, and my steering wheel is vibrating again. So it's, it's just great to have that many alerts, especially when you're in a busy grocery store parking lot like we're in today. So with all of these amazing features, it's really cool to see uh, what the Sportage has to offer. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll make sure to get back to you. If I don't know the answer, I can always ask a salesman. You can always visit our inventory. We're online at smailkia.com. Until next time, guys. Enjoy the ride.